All right. John chapter 15, 5 to 6. Okay. Let us start with these verses. Hallelujah. Actually, I have prepared, uh, I already prepared a message. <laughs> Hey, Judges chapter 2, verse 1. 
<clears throat> and I said, I will never break my Senang-senang saja. Pakai nanti ya. Hari Minggu saya datang. Sekali itu hari enam. Ayah sorry lah tidak dapat. <laughs> Kita manusia. Kita we cannot keep our most of our promises. Even kita try, tapi kadang-kadang kita tidak dapat. But God is not human beings. Tapi Tuhan lain. Kalau dia sudah janji, itu dia akan sampai selama sampai sekarang. Amen. So what I, I will, what I want to encourage you with you this morning is have a personal relationship. Amen. Two things: have a personal relationship with God and know what He is doing. That's why it's important to hear testimony from others. And what the Lord has done in your heart. Hallelujah. Amen. So, <clears throat> praise the Lord. Because if you don't worship the Lord, you worship others, God will do the same thing to you. That's what he did to the Israelites, the second generation, the new generation. They do not know God, they do not know what God has done. Okay. Amen. So, I want to challenge each and every one of you here this morning. Make a choice. Have a relationship with God. Know Him. No God, no one who needs to be. Hallelujah. Because Jesus said, I'm the vine, you are the branches. If you remain in me, you will bear much fruit. Outside of me, you cannot do anything. Hallelujah. Because akhirnya, siapa yang mau bagi berkat? Tuhan. Everything comes from Amen. Yeah. Come, let us stand. Thank you, Jesus. So I encourage each and every one of you to maintain a relationship with God, prayer, word, worship in your daily life. Be thankful to God. Yeah, always. When you begin uh, with Lord, thank you. I'm still alive today. Thank you. I'm still can eat today. Lord, thank you. I still can travel today. Lord, thank you. I can still walk today. Lord, thank you. Saya masih boleh kerja. Saya masih boleh makan. Saya masih boleh jalan-jalan. Saya masih boleh. What it is, what it is. When you begin with that, yeah, you are actually renewing your relationship. Much of all, maintain your relationship with that. Because you recognize, when, when you begin with thanksgiving, you are recognizing that everything you have comes from the that dia akan menjaga kamu. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So let us continue. Uh, I encourage each and every one of you to continue and to say in your heart, Lord, I want to have a personal relationship with you. So because you are big tree, your achievement, a blessing all up all the world. And it can happen, it can only happen when we have a close relationship with God. Yeah? 
Tapi jangan sendiri saja. Okay, if you are parents, you have children, make sure that your children yeah, have the opportunity to have close relationship with them. Yeah. One of the mistakes actually that happened here, Joshua generation had a relationship with God. Their mistake was they did not train their children. What happened to the anak They did not know the God. That was the fear mistake. And, but that is another sharing. That was the mistake. So, kadang-kadang kita, as a parent, kita ada relationship, tapi kita tidak bawa kita punya anak, kita tidak bagi contoh kepada anak kita, untuk have relationship with God. Akhirnya mereka tidak menyembah Tuhan Mereka lebih suka Buat sendiri-sendiri ya. Bila susah baru mau datang kepada Tuhan ya. Oh, ya. So ini semua yang tertulis What happened in the Bible actually just to teach them how important it is to maintain a relationship with God. Hallelujah. Amen. It's not easy. It's a challenge. It's a, it's a very challenging, but it's rewarding. Let me tell you, it's rewarding. Hallelujah. Amen. You will see miracles of your reward before your life, before your eyes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. That's why I always remember what the Bible says. What David says, last time I was young, now I am old. But David said, David said, I never see the children of the righteous people begging for bread. And then, dia kata, dulu saya muda, sekarang saya tua. Tapi sepanjang itu saya tidak pernah melihat anak-anak Orang-orang yang setia kepada Tuhan Ini tak minta Maksud, Maksudnya Tuhan akan menjaga Orang-orang yang ada relationship dengan Tuhan